I guess this could prove Professor Grogan's theory, that you can put a snake to sleep with a high B-flat. But before any of you kids go and try it on your neighborhood rattlers, remember it may only work on snakes that like music. This is Carrie Madison inviting you to join me next week for some more curiosities of this weird and wacky world. Well, I guess that wraps it up, Ronnie. Hello. What? No, I was just leaving. I could be at Professor Hartman's laboratory in about two hours, give or take it. What do you mean the crew is going to be late? How late? An hour? What am I supposed to do with a mad scientist for an hour? <laughs> I'll pretend that you didn't say that. This is KKZ Los Angeles, the spot that's hot on your dial. Well, you can crunch a bunch of Yes, sir, Mama Roland's jerky sticks. Try them soon, you hear? There ain't nothing in this world like Mama Roland's jerky sticks. Okay, it's 9.45 exactly. We got a high of 75 in downtown L.A., so for you breathers out there in the valley, it's looking pretty good. News and views coming at you on the hour with an extended report on those earth tremors up Frisco Way. They're on their way here. <laughs> if they can beat the freeway traffic, you heard it first here, where we make it happen. It's all coming at you. It's the first shock wave to hit the area, and this one reached 4.5 on the Richter scale. This is KKC Los Angeles News and Views. trying to prove, lady? You want to drive in a demolition derby? Go do it on a track. Funny. Very funny. I suppose you didn't notice. The rest of the world is having an earthquake. Look, you got two feet. One for the accelerator and one for the goddamn brake. Oh, God. This piece of equipment has seen me through two state championships, the defense of the interstate trophy, and cost me 40 bucks. Now look at it. What is it? What is it? It's a broken kendo sword. That's what it is. Looks like a bamboo stick. Well, since you're all right, I've got to go. They don't let me detain you, lady. I mean, I'm fine. My truck is fine. My broken kendo stick is just fine. Everything's just fine, lady. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Uh, here. What's this? Well, it, it's for everything. <laughs> lady, I don't need your charity. Charity? This isn't charity. And stop calling me lady. I hate to be called lady. It's insulting and patronizing. Believe me, I can think of better words. I bet you can. Because I'm a woman, isn't it? I mean, if I were a man, you'd you were a man, money... I'd break your goddamn head. Typical. Be violent. You want to see a violent male? Maybe you want to be treated like a child, taken across my knee and given a good spanking. You wouldn't dare. Try me, lady. Carrie Madison. Yes, I recognize you, Miss Madison, and I'm enchanted. Won't you come in, please? I dare say you're wondering why I, a serious dimensional physicist, should waste my valuable time 
on a television program which sensationalizes science. Well, at least you're brutally frank about it. I don't mean to be rude. But your program is precisely what I need to make those fools in the halls of science take my work seriously. Oh, sorry, I... I've become angry and I've become a very bad host. Can I get you something? No, thanks. Look, I'm sorry, but my camera crew have been delayed. Um, maybe you could go over exactly what it is you want us to film. Is this it? Uh, please, Miss Madison. The matter transmitter is a finely calibrated instrument. And you say you can send things through this machine into another dimension? Precisely. Perhaps if I were to show you what I mean. They said it was going to be a nice day. And now, in case you think me some kind of magician, an object, some personal possession, if I may. I saw it, but I still don't believe it. The objects are still there, but in another dimension. Another part of the universe we cannot see. I don't understand this. <laughs> Are you sure this is safe with all these tremors going on? Be quiet. Look. Fascinating. Do you realize we are looking at a parallel world? Another dimension for the first time. You mean a world like ours? Why not? People are people wherever they exist. Perhaps technologies differ. Why can't you realize what this means? the ability to cross into another world. Dr. Hartman. Dr. Hartman? Oh, my God, not you again. Well, look, it was your own fault creeping around like that. My fault. I come here looking for help and I get mugged. What have I done to you, lady? You wipe out my truck, you cave in my skull, you... Break your bamboo stick. Kendo sword. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Carrie. Carrie Madison. Dan Roebuck. <laughs> Thinking I know you from someplace. I do a TV show. The weird and the wacky. Mm -hmm. Now I know you. Hey, that show really is a pile of garbage. But you're good. Though you look thinner in a box. What is this place? It belongs to a Dr. Hartman. Where is he? 
He's gone. And I mean, he's really gone. What do you mean, really gone? There's no point. I know you won't believe me. Try me. Well, this machine transmits things into another world, another dimension. <clears throat> I told you you wouldn't believe me. Of course I believe you. Please go on. There was this accident. An accident. And he was standing right there. Standing right here. And then all of a sudden he just disappeared. Like that. <laughs> disappeared just like that. Somebody doesn't answer me soon. Dr. Hartman, I swear to God, I have an interview later this afternoon. If I miss it because of you, I'm going to be furious. Damn you. Damn you! I must be dreaming this. Or I'm dead. And this is either heaven or hell. Well, heaven it isn't. So it must be hell. Only this doesn't look like Dallas. Dan Roebuck!
slowly back away. Now what? Run like hell! Keep running! it up there and with luck we'll hook on to something and then you and I can shinny up the beanstalk. And what if the giant is up there and chops down the beanstalk? What then? pint-sized midgets committed suicide in installments. Besides, whatever did, it could still be up there. Okay, by me. If the wire breaks, I'll have you to break my fall, but if that's the way you no, want... No, 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 no. Um, second thought, I think I will go first. <laughs> Relax, I got you. I am quite able to do this by myself, so if you don't mind, please take your hand off my butt. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm letting him go. That's what I'm doing. Oh, so all of a sudden you're an expert on this place. Up to now, everything in this world either wants to hunt you or kill you. God knows what he wants to do. I want to thank you. Chief, he speaks. He speaks English. No, I speak Vanyan. We can't stay here. The Varns will return. The barns. Give me those pint-sized midgets. What, what do you think? I think we better get out of here. But he's green.
Uh, thank you. Thank you for helping us. You saved my life. Therefore, I'm in your debt. We have more forest to cross before we're safe. <laughs> that amber light how else can you make a fire well where i come from we use matches sort of like um <laughs> it'll take too long to explain from Vanya, but there is nowhere else except Vanya. Yet you speak Vanyan. I don't understand. I don't understand myself. I see. These pods are full of a kind of gas. Can I have a look at that? Okay, don't fall apart. My debt to you is now paid. Hey, what? Hey, we need your help to find a guy named Hartman. He's the guy that got us into this mess. He's the only one that can get us out. Plumberry, food for when you travel. Hey, what happened? He said he squared his debt and he was off. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? <laughs> Dinner. Hartman couldn't possibly have gotten this far. Could he? Before I answer that, answer me one question. Huh. How long had you been here before I found you? Well, about a, a day. Why? Well, I've been here for at least a week. A week? That doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't. How long before you followed me into that, that force field or whatever it was? A couple of seconds, I guess. I don't know. It all happened so fast. Well, I hate to tell you this, but the way I figure it, a split second in our world takes a whole lot longer here. An apartment disappeared sometime before we did. He could have been in this world for at least 
Oh, who knows? Maybe a year. A year? Well, you could be anywhere. That's a good place to look for a cookie scientist. Wait. What? I've seen that before. Where? In the lab. When Hartman disappeared, it was behind him. Terrific! You could do with the shame. Sorry. I'm not complaining. such a wild flower lost here in the wilderness. Especially one with hair the color of the sun. No! I didn't get far. You fools. Did you really believe that scum like you could take these away from me and replace me as warlord. No one can kill Cleel. No one! I, I beg you. He, he, he threatened me. Oh, so you are less guilty, are you coward? Very well. Arak, you will be taken to the fortress with us. As for you, hang him now. <laughs> please, I beg you. No, don't kill me, please. Skin of ivory, hair the color of the sun. Don't touch me. Ah, oh. And she speaks. <laughs> And she should remain silent. What other surprises do you have for me, Wildflower? Let her go, you son of a bitch, or I'll kill you! Break your goddamn neck if you don't give me some answers. If we're talking about the girl, Cleel the warlord took her. Where's he taking her? Uh, don't you know anything? Uh, to his fortress in the Dead Mountains. But no one gets in there, and I know what I'm talking about. And who the hell are you? My name's Malachi. Can I get up now? Take 
take me there. First you act like a corpse. Now you want to be an idiot. I wouldn't expect you to do it for nothing. What is that? Is it gold? It's what? Not only gold, but it's got magical powers. It speaks. Warns the one who wears it if the thief is about. The devil it does. It also tells you Pacific time, mountain time, and the exact hour and minute in Hong Kong. By all that's smelly in my own shoe. <laughs> it's a deal. It's yours. Once we reach Cleo's fortress. First off, you'll need a horse. Talking of horses, the best dealer in these mountains is my old friend Treat. Though you ought to know, he's got the sort of charm that would make a snake vomit. But he sells good horses. to wear my boots again, vermin. This woman belongs to me, do you understand? I didn't know, I swear, I didn't know! Now you do. You. The skin would have been peeled from his screaming flesh because you would have been tainted by his foul embrace. I'd have crushed the petals of my little wildflower. from where we pick up the horses. Oh, about a day's ride. But the closer we get to Cleel's stronghold, the more your mind might change. Why? If the tales they tell are true, Cleel has a mighty sorcerer in his power. You felt the bite of his devil's smoke stick. How can you hope to beat a man who has the dark powers on his side? Leave 
you for talking to me. Telling my companion how he had to stop and wish my old friend to eat a very merry day. Oh, give me that horse manure, you curdled toad. Curdled toad? Is that horse manure, you old horse thief? Handmade tools, the like of which you'll never see again. A horse, my friend, and food and drink is all I ask in return. just giving away my livelihood. That's gratitude for you. I bring you all this way, introduce you to my friends. Him? And all I'm getting for my pains is the promise of that watch, which would be much safer in my keeping, knowing the type of thief that drinks in this place. Do you hear me? What is it? That uh, man at the table over there. That's a green man. They're really weird. The men with him are traders. They're trying to learn how he summons the wild horses. That's why they're filling them up with booze, but he won't tell them. Where are you off to now? Ah, uh, excuse me. Hi. Pour him another drink. Uh, I can still do with your help. What's going on? Now, listen, friend. We're willing to pay for your secret. Look, the girl I was with, she's in deep trouble. Listen, Scathead, some... you're in trouble. I'm doing business with this man. Now you stay out of it. Look, I only want to quick work, okay? Just what do you think you're doing? Look, he helped me before. I'd like his help again, okay? I'm helping you this time, and nobody gets to share my reward. The way you do business, I can't afford you. Backsliding an old deal, is it? Friend, I hope your skull's as thick as your hide. What are you feeding him? I'm getting upset. And when I get uh, upset... Shut up! I told you not to intrude! Hey, 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 I'm sorry. I'm out of line. I hate people who interfere. Look, you ought to know that my friend here not only said you look like hogs in heat, but you smell like pigs in the swill bin. He did, did he? I'm going. But first, my friend comes with me. This is Treat's guy. And Treat says who goes and who stays. Let him have him. He's drunk. He's drunk. to know and you to find out. All I ask is the gold band he wears around his wrist. Fool, if warlord Keel will pay gold for that one, so will the Nabu fire warriors, and they're a lot nearer. A favor treat, old friend. Oh, anything. 
as long as you ride as far from here as possible. A shortcut? Is there a shortcut through to the main trail? Keep the river on your right. Now go. Oh, you evil-smelling shrimp. May you suffocate in your own fat, you tub of grease. <laughs> Raise the gate! Always the little mother. My lord. Basque, bring the woman. Carefully. A hellcat might damage your manhood again. And don't dismiss the men. I want them to see what happens to those who plot against me. Hair, the color of the sun. What would you give to have hair the color of the sun, Cherie? She'd have the scalp of your pretty head. Venturine would sell her soul to be anything other than the half-breed slave that she is. Isn't that true, Shireen? Traitor, I hope the hanging of your accomplice weighs heavily on your conscience. You wanted me dead. Now you have the means in front of you to do it, coward. Right here in the open. For everybody to see that Cleo's law is just. Hard, but just. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have the guts, coward? Or is that yellow streak down your back just for decoration? Cleo 
Elliot's law is hard. Hard, but just. You call that justice? I call it murder. Perhaps a few hours in Vosk's degenerate arms might teach you a little respect. I don't think you'd like that. Oh. Vosk? Cager. No food, no water. She will bring you ill luck if she stays. No, my dear. If she stays, the ill luck will be yours. <laughs> what a great trade. Drunken green weirdo for an undersized thief. Eternal. And not only a thief, but an assassin as well. It isn't as bad as it looks. No, you can explain why you're sneaking up on me with a dagger in your hand. I came to warn you. <laughs> right. I did. And this is all the thanks I get. I don't believe this. I just don't believe this. I don't suppose you'd believe me if I tell you there's someone behind you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't ask. We're being sold to the Nabu, who worship that rock of fire over there. We're in great danger. Keep your opinions to yourself, you drunk. Well, my friend, it's your lucky day. The Nabu honor you. They invite you to a contest with the Guardian of the Rock. If you win, you and your friends are free to go. No problem. Start the contest. Hey, hold on a goddamn minute. What the hell am I getting myself into? And if you refuse their invitation, they pull out your tongues by the roots, boil them, and then while you watch, eat them. Oh, that's disgusting. And finally, you're given to the god of the rock. <laughs> and then you fry. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? You never learn, do you? What do I tell them? Do you accept? Nod your head, you idiot. Ah, shoot. <laughs> he desires the contest! Thanks a lot, you little twit. Oh! 
The slaves are not getting sufficient chemicals out of the mines for me to purify and distill. Get me enough and I'll show you what real power is. Then we will drive them night and day. But, sorcerer, do not disappoint me. I tire of waiting. Boss! Say nothing, I beg of you. I'll find a way to see you. Drive the slaves even harder. The work goes too slow. And bring the woman in. You may eat. Eat. Damn you. Come. You see, I'm not the uh, barbarian you think I am. Plenty of fine food, bath, and uh, look, frock of exquisite thread. The water cools. Bathe now. What do you take me for? Why do you defy me? Do you enjoy making me angry? Because only the very stupid have no fear. I am afraid. Oh. Well, then why fight me? I mean, you're very strange. <laughs> like any in this land. But, but you're the first woman who could rule by my side. Go to hell. Do not offend me. Your life hangs by a thread. I could take you any time I wish. You understand? You will stay in the cage without any food or water until you crawl to me on your hands and knees and beg me to take you. But he won. It isn't fair. True, maggot. But then the rules can change. You win some, you lose some. What can honest men do? What's going to happen now? Oh, that I can tell you. You're going to endure the pit of flame. <laughs> Once this stone plug is removed, the sacred liquid runs down this channel and uh, is set on fire by the rock. Back it comes and poof, we go up in smoke. What? We're sitting in a bath of oil. So when does the entertainment begin? Now! <laughs> Those pots, how many do they have left? <laughs> Quick. Take a few 
seconds with Malachi. talk to anything. His name is Kahar. Your woman saved his life some sons ago. You mean Kerry? I told him that you were her friend. He will go with us. I wouldn't think of going without him. The only trouble is we don't have horses. The sun is still high, Shireen. Time enough to burn out your jealousy and pride. You should have chosen me, half-breed. But before the day is done, you'll have the answer to the riddle of this death pit. Why is it that when we leave our dead slaves here, they're all gone by the morning? You will be the only one who knows what happens when night falls. You mean you really can't do that? We'll soon find out. You know, I never really believed it till now. saddens me to find you this way, Miss Madison. Well, get me out of here, then. Impossible. Cleel is not the kind of man to cross lightly. You've no doubt already encountered a particular brand of megalomania. But how did you get here? That damn machine of yours. How else? I came through about a second after Dan. Dan? Who's Dan? A friend. A friend Cleel murdered. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Then that means that the matter transmitter is still functioning. Then there is a way back. What are you doing here? With Cleo? Survival. This is a strange and violent land. Cleo almost had me slaving away in his minds, but... with a few scientific tricks, I persuaded him I was a sorcerer. You've possibly seen the pistols. You son of a bitch! Then it was your guns that killed Dan. No. Cleel murdered your friend. And that lets you off, huh? So you can go and make more guns for them? Cleel is not a fool. So long as he is the only possessor of guns, who can stand against him? 
but is also wise enough to know I can give him an even greater power. Lieutenant Hartman. You must understand I've had to work with fairly primitive means at my disposal. Even so, I've managed to create a, a primitive but very potent equivalent to nitroglycerine. You're a goddamn maniac! I would have thought you'd be far more realistic. Do as I have done. Humor him and survive. Cleel will rule this land with the power I can give him. Let Cleel rule, and the rest can go spit. I said it to him, and I'll say it to you. Go to hell. He says he needs water. Water? Where? Over there, in the trees. What do you see? There is something moving. He senses something evil, unclean. Is that all? I thought it was something serious. Where the hell are we? 
we're lost. I know we're lost. These caves go under Cleo's fortress. Your Excellency, what, if I may, the liquid is still in a highly volatile state. I swear I'd understand you better if you didn't have a tongue. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Perhaps if I were to show you what I've already created. Hmm. Have it, sorcerer. What is it? Clean air. This way. There's a boulder. Kahar! Push! 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 Push!
Where'd the big guy go? Who knows? We'll never get in. Look! we can do. We must find your woman. Yes, but where? I will show you the way. <laughs> yeah. Too good for the likes of me, huh? Nobody can hear you now, woman. Nobody! We're about to suffer fate. <laughs> we cannot stay here. Come. Yeah. Wait, Dan. Artman is here. He's Clail's sorcerer. He's what? He's he's made nitro. If Clail gets his hands on it. Where is he? I'll take you there. <laughs> God, how did you get here? I don't understand. Who are these people? There's no time for question and answer games. Carry tie them up. And Hartman, any noise, and I'll use this. I wish you'd both listen to me. <laughs> Only a powerful ruler such as Cleo can provide the means to return to our own time. Can't you see that? No, and I don't intend to use Cleo for anything. No, stop! There's enough combustible material here to, to blow us all sky high. What's going on? Does he bring some kind of magic? Where's all the nitro? It's not here. You're lying, but I don't have the time to beat it out of you. So get your miserable hide out of here. Move it! I think you girls will give us any trouble.
down. Ah, oh, Sherry. Your life was already finished. Bastard. I must have missed you before. Ah, uh, hold it. No! Even me. That's better. Begging your excellency's pardon, I'm just a humble thief who'd like to make a deal. I don't make bargains. Ah, uh, but this is just a little deal. Oh, look, for pity's sake, just take it easy with that thing. Safe passage out of here. And a little something for my trouble. Now, that's not too much to ask, is it? For God's sake, quit while you're ahead. We'll just take the safe passage. What makes you think I'd let you all out of here alive? Okay, just me then. You little louse. And if I refuse? I let the magic out of the bottle, don't I? Then you'd simply be pouring away a decent flask of wine. Wine? I'm afraid so. I seem to recognize the flask you're holding. She told me it was the magic potion. Wine. Seemed like a really good idea at the time. I was going to get help and come back for you. I swear it. Cut out my heart if I tell a lie. Don't tempt me. I need your help. I have nothing to say to you. Well, I have something to say to you, and you better listen. I'll blow the whistle on you, Armin. You can't blackmail me. Oh, but you forget. He listens to me now. How else would I have been able to save Dad and the others? The story. What do you want? Believe it or not, I'm here to help you. What are you taking me for, Harbin? You may not know it, but it was I who was ready to clear to spare your lives. I cannot have your deaths on my conscience. I find that just a little hard to believe. I have no time to persuade you now. But you must give me your word that if I set you free, all of you will leave this place immediately. Yes, he gives his word. Where's Carrie? She's decided to stay. You're lying. Who knows what goes on in a woman's mind? With all men of the world, these things happen. Now, do I have your word? If you can't think for yourself, think of your friends. Yes, think of your friends. All right. All right, you got it. You, you gave me your word. This world has taught me one thing, Harvin. Trust no one. And you and I are one finished business. Take care of it. Whip. Leave us, leave us. I don't want to be disturbed. gift. Open it. Open it, damn you. You and I have an agreement. Don't forget your friends are still in my power. I gave you their lives in return for your cooperation. Open it, please. Very beautiful. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> it was the lucky charm of a warrior, chieftain. He still believed that it would save his life, even as I pushed my sword between his ribs. 
You have a way of ruining everything. So I ruin everything, do I? Do not patronize me. I've offered you more than I've offered any woman. And you spit in my face as if I was a beggar. You go too far. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, you will be careful how you handle those flasks. One slip, and there's enough nitro stored beneath the mountain to blow the entire fortress sky high. There comes a time when you have to live dangerously. You know what to do. Malachi? Yeah. Powder you make for Quill's guns, I need it. Now. Got to move while it's still dark. I'll lay enough fuse to make this place blow in about. Malachi, give me back my watch. <sighs> Take him with you. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Please, I'd like some more wine. Very well. Quickly. I'm warning you. You take one more step and I'll blow your goddamn head off.
You conceited bastard. Ah. That's too it. is harsh. I need the gun. Here, I can't try. <laughs> about that invisible doorway, Doc? It's hopeless. Don't you understand? The chances of our finding the things I transmitted are ten million to one. Well, then I suggest we start looking. Gold! What have you found? Just some cast-up bauble with strange markings on it. Markings? Scribbling. How do I know? I can't read. Thank you. That's it! God damn it! That's it! Where'd you find this? No! No, wait! Gone. What about the war? <laughs> 